The first thing is a CBC. And what that is, that's a complete blood count, right? So basically this measures your hematologic health. And what we're looking here is white blood cells, red blood cells, and your platelets. Now, sometimes you can get a CBC with a differential, which then takes your white blood cells and puts them into the different categories of white blood cells. I think that can be important, especially if you have noticed that your white blood cell count is high or lower than it should be. Um, and again, these are just references. When you do your blood work and they come back, you're going to get some general reference ranges. That's about 95% of the general population. Some people may be higher, some might be lower, depending on the situation. But anyway, what this detects is anemia, right? So maybe there's nutritional issues going on, chronic disease, maybe there's blood loss. It'll also reflect infection or inflammation with white blood cells. And the interesting thing with the inflammation is you may not even feel so much inflammation, but just if you carry excess body weight, typically if you see a BMI over 30, it's not uncommon that I will see white blood cells actually high uh, consistently. 